optimism. I profoundly accept this nomination for President of the United States. President Trump stood on the South Lawn of the White House and thanked the supporters who got him there. The fact is, we're here and they're not. He then turned his attention to the man trying to keep him from spending another four years in the People's House. Joe Biden is weak. The president painted Biden as a puppet of the radical left who wants to defund the police. They will pass federal legislation to reduce law enforcement nationwide. No one will be safe in Biden's America. And he slammed the protests that have rocked the nation. The Republican Party condemns the rioting, looting, arson, and violence we have seen in Democrat-run cities all like Kenosha, Minneapolis, Portland, Chicago, and New York. While making no mention of the police shootings which triggered the unrest. Thousands of protesters will march on Washington today calling for police accountability, including the families of Eric Garner, Breonna Taylor, and George Floyd. Marchers also protested outside the White House during the president's speech last night and confronted Trump supporters leaving the White House, including Senator Rand Paul. With the conventions now over, the real campaigning begins. President Trump will hold a campaign rally in New Hampshire this evening. While Joe Biden announced he will be returning to the campaign trail for in-person rallies after Labor Day. Skyler Henry, CBS News, Washington.